Hi guys, welcome to Divinity Original Sin 2. Now in this video I'm just going to go through all the options and settings and we'll take a quick look at graphics and what sort of card realistically the game should run on. Going off the uh, Steam thing here, we've got GTX 550 or for a better experience, GTX 770 or R9 280. So clearly look, sort of looking at two to three gigabyte cards I would say. CPU uh i5 or i7 equivalent depended and four gig or eight gigabytes of ram now i'm running it on a 16 gigabyte system shouldn't have a problem and it's booted straight into ultra wide so we know that side of it works fine if we crack on straight into options see what options we've got okay yeah you've got your full screen display whichever video card you're using if you've got more than one that could obviously be an issue resolution there um, let me go higher yeah you can go 1080p display there we go and we can go 4k should you plug it into a 4k device I plugged it into the 4k TV and yes it was fine pick that up no problem uh, display mode full screen windowed or fake full screen well, that's a different way of saying borderless isn't it okay uh, v-sync there's your options for that off double or triple frame rate cap enabled or disabled you might want to limit it down so it's spiking up and down somewhat now your frame rate cap is here it goes all the way up to 120 okay now if you've got a 144 hertz monitor you may want to just turn that off completely let's face it um, I'll probably turn it off leave it off if you've got a free sync monitor all the better which is what this game's running on at the moment let's go into game um, loading into this menu area on a 7200 speed normal hard drive took about 30 seconds I get a bit of a timer on it it's about that I don't really think the game's worthwhile putting on an SSD uh, it's not got you know 4k textures and stuff to load in it's uh, it'd be fine on a normal hard drive I'm actually recording onto an SSD using Radeon Relive and the Windows 10 Pro installation is on an Intel SSD so we shouldn't have too much um, drag on the system you know it's sort of spaced out and shouldn't take away from the game so it looks to be loading pretty quick are we about to enter game do we have to create a character more than likely yes we do okay understood and start game I won't go into creating a character guys that's something that you'll enjoy doing and you know want to look into and do Okay, so can we skip? Don't want to spoil any of the game for you. Like I say, this is concentrating solely on the options and settings, really, and what effect it has on the system. It does look initially like it's going to scale very, very well. I don't think anybody will have any problems running this game. So, video RAM usage is really low. 1.1.5 gigabytes of VRAM, 6.5 gigabytes of main RAM, 60 frames per second. I don't remember putting the lock on. We'll have to check that. CPU usage is absolute minimal, it's nothing. So uh, you got no problems there. Okay, understood. There is some nice graphics though, it's a good looking game. I know the original uh, Divinity Sin went down very well, everybody absolutely loved it. So this one is obviously going to be a treat if you're into this type of game. Like I say, it's not something I play. I wouldn't even know where to start playing this particular game. So let's go into some options. Okay, graphics. We're on ultra, yeah? Let's go to very low. Let's flip it on the other side. So if it was ultra is only using that much VRAM, this has got to be good. Apply. Accept. And back into game. We're under a gig, so a one gigabyte card can do this, no problem at all. Obviously in a fight sequence, you're probably gonna, uh, you know, use a bit more. Okay, so we move the character using the, okay. Click and point adventure. Like I say, I've done no research on the game or whatsoever. It's not something I'd normally play. Doesn't mean to say it's not a good game, it's just not for me. Okay. Skip, skip, skip. Ooh, we had choices to make there, guys, and I clicked 111 to keep it going. Probably already uh, done something very wrong. 
Can we turn this map around? No, we can't. Okay. Or I don't know how to. <laughs> okay, so we're, on, we're about a gig of VRAM. Let's have a look to see if we can unlock the frame rate to go higher. Don't really think you'd need it higher, but uh, around 60. Frame cap enabled. Mm, okay. Let's do that. Apply. Accept. Resume. Still on 60 frames per second. Weird. My display is actually overclocked, so uh, that's not holding it back. I didn't think V-Sync was on there. Let's have a quick look. Do we have V-Sync? Oh, we're on triple buffering. No wonder. Turn that off. My apologies. Idiot move. That was a weird one. Okay. Resume. There you go guys, we've got 181 frames per second at the moment. Um, it's a really easy game to run. So what would we run at if we go... Options. Oops. Yeah, Ultra. Apply. Upset. Resume. Still 104 on Ultra. So uh, you can safely run this game on anything by the look of it. You know, even uh, a lot of laptops and stuff. Not necessarily even gaming spec. You can have a lot of hours in this game and it looks like it's going to scale really well. And that pretty much wraps it up for me. Because like I say, I don't intend on playing this and I don't even know how to play this game. It's not for that. If my options and settings little preview there helped you with buying the game, brilliant. If not, sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye for now.